all right hello everybody i just want to make a brief message right and um you know at this time i've just been kind of paying attention to what my next move needs to be right uh you go enter and then you got to make some you have it takes action right and so one thing i'm going to say is at this time try try unless you just need to let loose try not to put your attention on anything that might take your energy okay so i don't want to say not just put your energy on because sometimes you know you need to be balanced you don't want to be so serious all the time you know some people are still working some people are at home i know working on themselves you know things like that and that's good try not to put your attention too much on anything um that was still your energy okay and and that's not even relevant for what's going on right now right um now you, by now most people know to be careful with just listening to the news you know because the media put out what they want you to hear um and, ve and, and um a low percentage of what they say is the truth you know um but um i've been tuning in to some other sources some other intel that is um that has been accurate right but the reason why this intel has been accurate and the intel i'm talking about is the future of ai i mean we're already dealing with ai as it is but it's going to get to a point um with what's going on right now with COVID 19 and the coronavirus it's not what you think um it is a way to control the masses the masses with um you know one thought you know everybody fall in line and do this you know just be the same like singularity you know and um i realize you know a lot of people say well i'm not going to be affected by ai you know um such and such but i'm not going to say that you are what i'm saying is that um you know the, be thinking about your next move i don't care i don't know if you want to meditate i think that's the best thing to do because um your ego is not going to tell you the right move to make I just want to say this too um, I wasn't going to say it but I'm going to say this I know a lot of women are still concerned about what black men have to say about um, interracial dating um, that is so I'm just so I, I'm not trying to be messy because uh, like when I talk like this I, I, I probably won't keep my message up long because um, it turns into something that could be it, it turns into mess even though I don't mean it that way but this stuff that black men have to say about black women and their desirability and who they should date and dating outside their race that is such trash right now that is such trash to even um, pay too much attention to that to argue back and forth with them on who, who if white men like you or not I honestly if uh, at this point if you're not already married if you're not already in a, a relationship a good healthy relationship with somebody you know especially if you're thinking about dating interracially if you're not already in that relationship you might want to the next man that you deal with is you're probably going to have to be somebody who is uh, very well off okay um, this is probably not the time to and I hate to say this um, looking for love and all that stuff it, it, it's it's, it's um, a good idea to really be in tune to what's happening around you because I'm gonna tell you something about this COVID-19 and this coronavirus and all this and all this stuff going on um, and the reason why I say it's best to get to a place where there's the least amount of people it's because people are so easily mind controlled and even though you are not the one that's mind controlled the 99% of the people around you are mind controlled okay and so even though you don't you're not falling into the hype of what what's being told on media because COVID-19 and Corona don't let anybody tell you it's fake anybody tell you it's fake it's a lie but it's not what you're being told on media that's the only thing about it that is not what, what's being told on media this COVID-19, you know, they're talking about wearing these little face masks and protect and, and slow the spread. But it's already been spread by these doggone chemtrails. It spread that stuff all around. Okay. Um, 
Uh, what else has it been spread? It's like jet jets. Was it jet stream or something like that? And what else has it been spread by? by? Um, it was something else. Uh, by those chemtrails and something else that it was spread by. So, um, the thing, the best thing to not really get too affected by COVID-19 or coronavirus is to stay out of your, um, try to stay out of your lower animalistic nature as much as possible. Raise up your consciousness, okay? This is an AI operation and COVID-19 is going to attach itself to a whole lot of people, okay? Um, and now I figured out why China is, going, is taking over because China, the United States is the new China. I said um, in another, another, another audio, I think it was in the 1990s, maybe early 1990s, that China, it was papers already t um, in place. China has already, um, is United States. The United States is um, China. It's not, I don't know what the name of it is, but the United States is China. Because China, where it is right now, is going to be destroyed in that civilization, that area. It's going to be completely destroyed um, by this thing, <laughs> by this COVID-19 and coronavirus. So that's why they're making their way into Africa and they're taking over the United States. Because they go, their area is going to be destroyed. All those people, are, most of them, are going to be killed. Okay? Uh, but see, what, with the little info, because I'm only giving you little information. I'm not going to say a whole lot because I just have to know who my audience is. I don't mean to be funny about that. But I need to be know who my audience is. I need to know that you're not just concerned with, um, that, that this is taken seriously. I understand that people are, you know, uh, I understand we, we meditate and we, you know, excess, uh, excess our higher selves and our divine selves and all of that. It's not wrong with it, but it's also nothing wrong with knowing what, what, what's up, too. It's nothing, wrong, it's nothing wrong with knowing what's going on. Um, because as much as you can meditate and connect with your divine self, you don't want to bury your head in the sand like nothing is happening around you. Because you're too much, you, you, you're going too deep that there is no, um, there's no balance of, of a, a perceived outside world. You need balance of that type of energy, too. Um, so that's why it's good to do both know what's going on around you because then your inner self can give you guidance on what your next move is but if you continue to bury your head in the sand and not know what's happening around you now i'm gonna be honest with you sometimes your inner self just guides you places without you really knowing what's going on but that's because um it's like your inner self kind of understands it's like a, a a higher version of yourself understands that it was it was it wasn't. Um, it wasn't really your time to have access to that to that information, right? And so your inner self guided you where you need to be, even though you didn't know what was happening. That that went on with me. That happens to me a lot. Where I hear people saying things now, and my inner self has already guided me to the right place. With that, and then I find out a year or two years later that I that I've been making the right moves without really knowing what's going on. But you don't want to continue to be too blind. And when I say blind, I'm talking about blind to what's going on in a physical world. You don't want to be too blind to that, right? So, um, because see, the thing is, the more you learn, the more mature you get spiritually, and the more you learn about what's going on in your physical world, the less and less that there's going to be an excuse that you don't make the proper moves, okay? The less and less there's going to be an excuse that you don't make the proper moves. So, even though your inner self gave you all this guidance because you were like maybe just a little baby the more mature you get the less the less protection you might get and you want to be careful trying to do things the way you did before because there might be it might not be as much protection because you should have learned okay uh, getting off of that but um yeah trying not when i say trying to put your attention on things that's going to steal your energy um that that's that's that, that's not even relevant i'm talking about these i still i hear these women um i don't listen to it anymore because i don't want to waste my i don't want to waste my time on it but i see the titles of the videos about these women that still respond to these black men and, and all this stuff about who they need to be dating right now i f you know what i'm going to be honest with you when that's your conversation, you still worry about what black men have to say about your desirability and if you, if you should be with a white man or not. If that is your conversation, um, you're behind the eight ball quite a bit. 
you're behind an eight ball. That should not, it's nothing wrong with dating whoever you want to date. But at this point, what I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't be explaining yourself to nobody. You don't want to waste your energy trying to explain yourself to somebody why, why you deserve a good life. Because I'm gonna tell you something. You better choose the best life for you if you if if you if you can if you can help it. You better choose the best life for you, um, because um, COVID-19 and coronavirus is going to mainly, uh, um, I would say, harm to the point of killing people who are on a lower frequency, and people who are unhappy are on a lower frequency. Okay, so. It's, it's best to stay out of stress right now and letting black men get to you is, is causing stress and it's going to cause that COVID-19 and coronavirus to cause some serious harm to you because like I said it's not what the media is telling you uh, COVID-19 and uh, coronavirus is an AI operation because of is they're moving into uh, one world currency they're moving into um, they're moving into total consciousness domination you're, and so they're trying to, for everybody, they're trying to, they're going to try to get rid of religion. So anybody who's into um, different religions, they're going to get rid of them too. I mean, they can try to fight back if they want to, but a lot of people don't understand that their consciousness is already under some kind of control and they're going to end up dying because they don't under, and that's why I say you need to know what's going on no matter how much you meditate and try to go enter. You, you need to know what's going on. You need to know what consciousness means. You need to know what's controlling consciousness. You need to understand the quantum brain. You really, it's time to look into those things, those things that we all ignored before. Now, some people who were into this stuff, like it's some women who were into engineering and the mathematics and all of that stuff, that, that this stuff is, is not new for them. But it's, it's time to look into it because it's happening. It's been happening, but now we see it in our outside reality we see this stuff happening before our very eyes because it was already it was always in motion for years for decades this was always in motion but now we're seeing it okay and people trying to cover up their face and talking about wash your hands and I, I wash my hands anyway I just feel like it's nasty um, I've always washed my hands but that's because I worked in healthcare, and so I was always like that um, but you know you're going outside trying to wear this little face mask and you can't step outside your house in your car without the face mask on that's a bunch of bull because you ain't about to give nothing to nobody and you're not about to be protected from anything um, because it was in the it's, it was in the chemtrails and the chemtrails were spreading it okay and it's AI based it's not no virus that's gonna give you a cold or something and people who have an adverse reaction to it it's because they are on a low vibration and that's why I'm, I talked about um, a lot of people who are in poverty and might have it the worst because of stress right now like for example it's a lot of people that are stressing out over the stimulus check because they have not gotten their money their taxes and they haven't got the stimulus checks and they've been trying to ask for it and People like it was one guy that had a family to take care of and he was depending on that stimulus check because he's been out of work since this thing happened and now it's caused him a great deal of stress. Now I'm going to tell you something, that's not his fault and I feel I, it makes me upset. It just, it just, it's so disturbing and stuff like that happens to people who try to make an honest living. But unfortunately, as bad as I feel for that guy, he would be the main, and I don't know if he's a black guy, a Hispanic guy, a white guy, I don't know who he is, because it's, it, it's not about color that this thing attaches itself to. But because he's under that level of stress, on top, of, and he has a family, a child that he has to take care of, and a wife, that adds a lot of stress to him, and that lowers his immune system, and that's why he's a candidate to most likely have some adverse reactions from the COVID-19 and the coronavirus because it's not adaptable right now it is um it's not fully um it's not fully mature okay and so a lot of people um are, are um who have like um lower immune systems that's under stress um and it, it's also going after people in the in the future because um, right now, it's best to try to keep your stress levels as low as possible. That's why I say not to give too much attention to what these guys have to say to you. Just don't even pay no they didn't. It's too late for them to try to make whatever, whatever they're trying to make right, it's too late for it. Because you're, going, you're moving into a, um, a singularity. Um, most people are. Okay, just most people are.
um, millions of Americans will, you know, will die. In the United States of America, it, it's, it's millions, 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 millions by the month of June. Millions will die. But the reason why millions of will die is because the new, um, like I said, they're moving towards singularity. That means that you have to have one, you have to have one consciousness. That means that you have to get rid of all dogma. You have to get rid of all dogma, all religious beliefs. Um, that, which means believing in something outside of yourself that can actually save you. Okay, um, people who hold on to those beliefs, um, if this thing COVID nineteen or coronavirus attaches to them, they will die. Okay, they're going to they're going to die. Um, because a person like that is, might not be connected to their divine self because they don't believe in their divine self. They believe in something outside of themselves being divine. And this thing is going to be able to um, probably take you out. You know? Um, it's going to be attached to people who are racist. I made a, uh, I don't know if I'll unlock that video right now, but I, it was called Humanity Gets What It Gets Part 2 on my other channel that I haven't, I've just, um, I kind of closed down for a little while. But it was about people having these races and its superiority towards another group of people. That's no longer going to work going towards a singularity. It's a, it's a shift happening. And those type of um, prejudices, racism, stuff like that, judging, is not going to work for the way this AI wants to take the um, consciousness. It, that, so racist people are going to get it. A lot of racist people are going to get it, okay? So I don't care how, much, how many vegetables some of these like, for, ample, for example, maybe Caucasian, maybe Asian, whoever. You, want, you like to keep yourself healthy. You eat all these superfoods and all this stuff. But if you, it, but it's, it's not only um, going to hurt people who have a very low immune system, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be after you. It's going, it's, it's um, scanning your consciousness too. And if you have all these, if you dogmatic, if you have all these beliefs, you have all this racism in your heart, this uh, prejudice in your heart, it's gonna go after those kind of people too. Okay. So anyway, uh, that's all I gotta say. I don't wanna talk for too long. And I know people are gonna say, well, you know, um, you can create your own time. Let me tell you something. Um, you can choose to create a timeline that you want and move into a timeline that's more efficient, but you got to actually take the time to see which timeline is the best, okay? Um, and so a lot of this is taking place in multiple timelines on what's called Earth, okay? What's called Earth, a lot of things, a lot of this stuff that I'm talking about is going to be taking place on multiple timelines, on a lot of timelines. And that's the reason why I say if you want to get to a reality or a timeline where this stuff ain't happening. Uh, because moving out into the country, I'm going to be honest with you, I talked about moving away from people, but um, uh, the, the AI and the people who are in control and the beings who are in control are aware that there are people who are also living off grid, okay? And eventually those people will be detected too, okay? because they want total domination of your consciousness okay this is not to argue back I know some people don't want to agree with what I have to say but this is not my opinion this is what what has been already predicted and when I say predicted I'm just saying it's, it's been pre-planned and it's been written and it's already been coded in, t in different timelines in order to change a, a timeline your timeline you have to change you have to change the way you do things, right? You have to change yourself. You have to change the way you think. You have to change your consciousness. You have to rise in a higher vibration. Okay? And that's how you might want to change the outcome of what's happening to you. Um, but, you know, um, all I got to say is that this just be very, um, be very wise at this point, you know. No need in saying, well, it ain't going to happen to me because of such and such and such and such. I wouldn't want to be too cocky right now. I would just sit back and just um, listen and learn and see what's going on and make your moves according to whatever you learn. But I would not be cocky right now and say, well, this ain't going to happen to me. I, would, I wouldn't be too cocky, okay? Because uh, when we talk about timelines and parallel worlds and parallel universes, it was created by some, a mastermind, okay? 
And so we're going to have to rise above that mastermind. And true enough, you, you rise to your divine self, but you consciously don't really know that your divine self can take you there. But in order for to really be connected like that, your mind can't be on too much trash either. You know, your mind. And so that's the main, excuse me, that's the main point of this audio is that you can't pay too much attention and give your too much of your energy to things that are not that are not relevant okay it's not to say that you want to be all serious all the time because like I said with that it still needs to be balanced okay even if it's something silly if you even if you want to watch like dogs play and stuff you want to be balanced you don't want to be serious all the time because um, paying too much attention to something for too long um, it just it, it gets you to it gets you drawn into whatever that timeline is or whatever timeline those people are talking about you'll eventually be pulled into that world paying too much attention to it so I say learn enough to, to know what next moves you're gonna make and be balanced in watching something that makes you happy but if you will look at but listening to black men at this point especially got something to say about black women I, I think that is a waste of brain cells. I'm just going to be honest with you. I think it, I think to listen to them is a waste of your brain cells. Um, what they have to say don't mess, especially the ones that's online trying to talk about, you know, black women this and what black women haven't done and what they have done and who they dating and interracial stuff. That is such a waste of, um, that's, that's a waste of brain cells and you don't want to put your attention on things like that. You know, black men saying that this coronavirus will have you running back to them. That is, that, that is, that's a troll right there. That is somebody who just trying to steal your energy. That is a parasite. Because I think the person who said that, if they don't know that's a dumb comment, then they, I don't know if they're some kind of puppet or what they are. But that's, that was a really dumb comment. Um, the way that black women could have um, respected black men is if they stood around, stuck around, stuck around, and took care of their children, and not dated outside their race at three times the rate, abandoned in their communities. That's how they could have got respect. Um, but see, you can't argue that with them, and don't give them the energy to talk about that kind of mess. And, and the pro-black women. Don't give them the energy to talk about that mess because it ain't relevant. I'm telling you, it ain't relevant. Everything I said right now, if you don't get your mind off of that little stupid mess right there with these black men are saying, but they can't pay no dog on, they can't pay you, they can't do nothing for you because they haven't done nothing for you, but they still got something to say. And for some reason, black men and black women feel like they deserve attention when they have done nothing. They have done absolutely nothing. And at this point, if, if they try to do something, it's too late. It is too late because because um, what's happening with this whole entire world is that it's being moved into a different direction. And so even if black men, which won't happen, but even if black men decided to get themselves together and do the right thing, it's too late. Because everything I done said to you, and if you feel like you might want to get a little cocky and say, well, not me, not me with this all this AI, it's okay if you want to get cocky, but you better, you better start planning. You want to meditate and go in it, but you better start planning. But putting your mind on black men and what they got to say and worrying about who's going to want, who's going to, who's, who's desiring you. Um, unless you're after somebody who can take you out of, who can, who, where you don't have to ever work again. At this point, if I'm dating somebody, I have to be financially free. I'm not going to be with anybody, which I'm not interested in dating at all, but because that's not my consciousness. But some people have that consciousness still. You know, and at this point, um, with everything that's going on, he better be able to take you out for work. You better not be working no more trying to deal with him. And if you are working a little bit, try to work as little as possible. But he, you, you, you might want to deal with somebody where you will be financially free. If you're not going to have no financial freedom dealing with him, then he's going to be a waste of your time with, with, with where this thing is headed right now. Dealing with anybody who can't really do much for you is going to be a waste of your time. You might as well just be single. But um, I think that's all I got to say. Um, and I'll talk to you soon.